Hey, welcome to our third week of Environmental Biology Online. Thanks for all the hard work you did in the graphing game last week. I think it was really successful. I really appreciate you playing along and trying out this new experiment with me. Um, I feel like you all did an amazing job with graphing. This week we're going to continue that work and that you're going to have an opportunity to revise anything that needs a little bit more tweaking. So just go back and look at the comments I made to you and if I made a comment then you want to make a revision and you have the whole week to do that. Just reply to the post that you already made. It will all be connected that way for me. You can also go to the grade book and find out what your score was for each challenge. It's nine points per challenge. So if you've got less than nine points, you probably want to make a revision. So you have all week to do that. Then the rest of your work is, is pretty simple. It's just reading the Critcher book. And I'm going to let my past self explain all of that Hi, to you. Welcome to your third week of Environmental Biology Online. Last week we spent time looking at the scientific process. And this week we're going to look at it a little bit more and think about science as a paradigm. So this week we're going to read the book you haven't read yet. John Critcher. We're going to read the first three chapters of this book. And this, this book tends to get some pretty strong reactions from students. So you might notice yourself being kind of angry or kind of upset or you might feel pretty excited and really happy. Um, so whatever happens for you, if you have an emotional reaction, that means something important is going on. So just, just notice that. Try not to get too wrapped up in the emotion um, and what I encourage you to do is just stay curious stay curious about what's happening for you about what the book is trying to tell you and one other thing to think about are the five habits of mind that might help you get more out of the reading so the first one is to pay attention to evidence weighing evidence and and think about what is the evidence that Critcher is giving for the ideas that he's sharing. He does give evidence, so try to find that particular, those particular bits of evidence. The second thing is to pay attention to connections. Make connections between Critcher's ideas and what we were looking at in the scientific process and between Critcher's ideas and Heinrich's ideas. How do they go about thinking about the world in similar ways and in different ways? The next thing to think about are perspectives. So what is Critcher's perspective? What is he trying to share with you? What does he have to say that is so important that he wanted to write a book about it? And, um, and then what's your perspective? How is it different or similar from what Critcher has to say? If you can define those things really clearly, that will help. The next thing to think about are, are alternative situations. What if? What if what he says really is true? What if it's not true? Um, so think about that question. And then the last thing is who cares? Who cares about this information? Why does it matter? Why does Critcher's idea have any relevance to our lives? And, and why does Jeannie want us to know this? Why does it matter? I put together a, a page that says read Critcher chapters 1, 2, and 3, and in there it kind of outlines how to go about reading this chapter. It gives you some tips for what to think about, how to find the important points, and shares some questions for you to consider. And in the discussion this week, you'll pay attention to those questions. So you get to pick one of the questions that you're interested in, and then write a thorough response to it. So please include the whole question at the top of your response and then share your thinking about it. Please go deeply, think thoroughly, try to give your full, full idea, but also give evidence for your idea. Why do you think this? Quote sections of the chapter, quote lines from Critcher that support your thoughts or prompt your thoughts. And then you'll reply to somebody else.
Okay, so have a really great week.